up? My name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and welcome to today's video which should be a fun short and sweet little manga haul. This is my second ever manga haul and all of these I have actually found on Facebook Marketplace. Now if you are new to my channel you wouldn't know that my journey to manga has been very short thus far. I have only recently started to actually be interested in manga and actually being more actively uh, researching it and reading it basically so I will leave in the cards for you guys my first ever manga haul if you have not seen it yet and are, in, and are interested in this kind of content as well as my first ever manga taste test where I read three popular manga series their first volumes to see what I thought about them and essentially this haul is kind of based on me wanting to try out more series. If you have any you want to recommend to me, leave them in the comments down below. Some of you guys have been doing that and it's been super helpful. Now I'll stop talking and just get into this haul. The first two is like honestly one of my most exciting finds and that is the Death Note Volume 2 and Volume 3 black editions so they are the like bind ups of this one is volume 3 and 4 and this one 5 and 6 they have the beautiful black sprayed edges and Death Note is a series that I think I'm really going to love and I believe it follows a main character who finds this notebook and when you write a person's name in it it essentially kills them and at first he's like I'm gonna use this for good and he's like going to kill some people that I like harmed society but I think the series kind of spies from there. Um, the illustrations I kind of just like flick through look absolutely stunning. I do not yet have the first volume. I have pre-ordered. Pre no, I have ordered it from Waterstones because it was cheaper to do it that way because I could not find it on Marketplace. But it has not yet come to me but I will be taste testing this as soon as it gets to me because again I have very good feelings about that series. The next manga volumes I have are these bind ups of the Full Metal Alchemist? No, Full Metal Alchemist, yes. I have volumes one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Now, these are not in the best condition ever. However, the price for these was ridiculously cheap, and I thought, you know what? I think I'm really going to enjoy this as well, so might as well try it out and we'll see from there. From what I know about this series is that we follow two brothers and these brothers have dabbled in alchemy um, to try to grant their their wish and one of them lost an arm and a leg and the other one just became like a soul, like a little blob. And the story kind of goes from there. Now I don't know if being like an alchemist is something illegal, if like they're running from the government, if there's like this big conspiracy, I don't really know. But I have seen so many people rave about the Full Metal Alchemist series. The collector's editions of these are beautiful and I just think it, it sounds like a really fun time and kind of what I do enjoy in manga thus far. So I couldn't resist and again if you want to see me taste test these, do let me know. Then I actually was able to find the second volume, I just hit myself in the face, of a Spy X Family. Now Spy Family is one of the first series that I actually taste tested in that specific manga vlog and spoiler alert, I absolutely adored it and so when I was able to find the second volume for five dollars, I just drove my bottom to that house and just bought it off that person. Spy Family follows a f family, basically we follow a spy who for his latest mission needs to kind of incorporate himself in this academy and in order to do that he needs a child to attend and so he goes to an orphanage and takes a child who ends up being a telepath so she knows that her father is a spy and he also needs a wife and he finds this woman who ends up being an assassin. The father and mother don't know that about each other but the child obviously knows both their secrets and it is chaotic, it is funny and I absolutely fell in love with the first volume so I'm very excited to continue on with this series. The next one I have is Real Account Volume 1. This is one I found for extremely cheap and was very interested in the premise. This follows a main character who is along with a lot of his peers really addicted to this new social media networking service called Real Account and at the beginning of this 
volume I believe that our main character along with other people who have used this app get transported into the app and essentially if they lose all their followers within like the games they have to play and everything that's going on in this app they die and all their followers also die and so our main character is trying to survive within this app in this world it kind of reminds me of squid games for some reason and just i think that the commentary on social media is going to be very interesting and i love how manga does this uh, a lot of them have a lot more depth than you would expect for just like a single volume so i'm very intrigued to see where this goes and i have heard a few people talk about this and i'm very intrigued the next volume i actually found for a dollar as i have a lot of the other volumes in this haul actually and it is the first volume of the witch of artemis i just can't with how adorable this cover is and i believe this follows a main character who when i was a child he was told all of these stories by his father and he has just always believed in the magic and the fantasy of these stories and when his father passes away and he grows older he refuses to stop believing and he wants to go to the specific world that his father used to talk to him about and i believe he ends up doing so and within this story we kind of follow the main character trying to adjust to this new world which he thought was like a story i'm intrigued uh i feel like these volumes are going to be extremely hard to find because when i like google them I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my hands on any of the other ones. So if you know where I can find volumes of this, let a gal know. The next one I have is a Phantom Dream. This is by the same creator as Fruit Baskets. And one of you guys mentioned that I should read Fruit Baskets, which trust me, it's a plan. We're gonna get there. But this one follows a main character who is part of this line of summoners and I think he is very overwhelmed by the load of what being a summoner is and he has always relied by like relied on his friend but then his friend wakes up and is like possessed by a demon and it goes from there. It sounds kind of wacky. It sounds fun. Again, these volumes seem to not be in print or be hard to find, so I don't know if I'll be able to continue on with the series, but we're just gonna roll with it, taste test them, and see how it goes. Maybe I'm not even gonna like it. But I'm crossing my fingers, I love every single one of these. The next one I found is one I'm extremely excited about, and this is Missile Happy, and this is the first volume again, and it follows a main character who has a sister complex, that's kind of what it's described as, where she is very protective of her sister and wouldn't want anyone to marry her and so she kind of, you know, snoops around to figure out what kind of men her sister is dating and her latest conquest, like her latest, her sister's latest love interest is like currently happening and I guess her main character goes undercover to find out more about him she ends up moving in with him and i guess maybe they're gonna fall in love i'm not really sure what what is gonna happen with this but it sounds so fun and again i feel like i'm just saying the same thing but i have tried to find other volumes of these because i want to i want to collect these i know i'm gonna love it at least a few volumes to be able to binge i couldn't for the life of me find volume two or three anywhere so if you have seen these float around the interwebs i'm from canada please let me know because i have a very strong feeling this is going to be one i'm going to enjoy the next one i have is actually volume eight of a manga if you could believe it i was kind of just like given this because the person i bought manga from didn't have change so she was like just pick something so i just picked this because it sounds fun now i would ideally like to find the first volume i'm going to keep this on deck in case i do ever find the other volumes this is the way of the house husband and this i believe is about this man who used to have like be part of criminal activity or have this like big reputation and he leaves it all behind to go and be a house husband and so it's kind of like him um changing completely and like caring for a child but also having that past and that reputation that kind of follows him and it sounds fun adorable funny something i could really get into um i just need to find the first volumes of this so and the last one is also a random one and it is also in french because i am a native french speaker um and it is chobits it's a like double volume edition i cannot really explain what this is about but i did read the synopsis and i was like you know what this sounds like a fun time this is the first 
I guess two volumes of this. The art looks phenomenal. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to enjoy reading manga in French. I do usually read in English. I am more comfortable reading in English but I can easily understand French. So we will see how this goes. Again this was kind of like a random I picked this up because the person was just like Ta-da! Um, so I didn't say no, I took it, and we will see if any of you guys know, like, if you think I'm going to enjoy this, what this is really about, if you can explain it to me, I will gladly take you up on that. So, those were all of the manga volumes I have accumulated this month. We've got a good stack here. If you have any suggestions of what I should read, what I should pick up, or where I should start with my stack, please let me know and I will see you very soon with another video and hopefully another manga taste test coming your way ASAP. Bye guys, happy reading.